It's upside down. Okay. Is this even getting my head? I'm not sure. Hey guys, it's Jay, and today I'm here with a book review for Flawed by Cecilia Ahern. This book I actually received as part of BookTube Tours, which is this little group run by Grace over at Loving Dumb Books, which basically we are given books in exchange for our honest review. It's a lot of fun. Highly suggest becoming a host. I personally love it. Also, I will leave a link down below for a giveaway for this book if you guys are interested. Totally enter it. I would highly recommend reading this book because I loved it. So without further ado, let us get started. I ended up giving this book a 4 out of 5 stars. I really, really enjoyed it. I thought The book follows Celestine North, who is 17 years old, and she lives the perfect life. She is loved by her friends and her family, and she's doing so well in school. He just so happens to be the son of Judge Creven, who is the head judge of the guild, which is a organization in the society which Celestine lives in, which basically decides whether or not a person is flawed. One day Celestine ends up making a decision which puts her perfect life in jeopardy and she may end up becoming branded as one of the flawed. This means that she is going to have to live a brand new life full of rules and ridicule. The book is just so good. I did not expect to like it as much as I did. I did hear amazing things about it, but I liked it way more than I thought I was going to. The world which Celestine lives in is absolutely terrifying. Just imagine having to live in a society where you can't help certain individuals just because they are deemed flawed and imperfect. And just the whole idea of having your skin branded with a hot iron. Like, no thank you, I w no, 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 that's so scary to me. And the fact that that was like an everyday occurrence for Celestine. It's just, no, I, I could never do that. I think that the writing style was very well done. The pace was perfect. There were some slow parts, but then there were also very fast parts, which made the story move very quickly, and it was so, so easy to read. I honestly couldn't put the book down. I needed to know what was going to happen to Celestine and where her story was going to lead her next. I was so fascinated by the whole concept of the guild. I wish there was more of a backstory because we weren't really given any th information on how the guild was formed other than it was to keep political parties and businessmen in line and then it developed into becoming the whole society instead but just the whole concept of the flawed living this very different life where they weren't allowed luxuries they had to eat this bland food they had a curfew it was just crazy to me that people would allow that to happen in a society which i understand it's a dystopian so like shit happens but like who voted for this who voted for this i'm just wondering I also really wish that there was more of a backstory on the whistleblowers because I found them to be very interesting but we didn't really know anything about them other than they were the people who enforced the rules for the flawed so I think that it would have been interesting to learn a little bit more about them as well. There were a couple of scenes like the branding scene and there was one like very graphic bullying scene that were kind of uncomfortable but I really enjoyed them anyways. Usually I'm pretty squeamish with that kind of stuff, but like during the bullying scene I was so physically angry at the people involved that I was physically like shaking. I just, oh, I can't deal with it, bullying. It just drives me crazy. And Judge Creven is the most despicable human being. Oh my god, how could anybody be that evil? I just, oh, I could not. I really enjoyed Celestine as a main character. I think she was the perfect combination of both weak and strong characteristics. I loved how she started off very naive and timid and she ended up becoming this very strong young woman. I really enjoyed reading about her and from her point of view and some of the sarcastic comments she made to Pia who is the news anchor were so funny. I just I loved her as a main character. I also really enjoyed how the romance wasn't a giant aspect of the story. It played a very, very minor part. I personally ship Carrick and Celestine so hard. I know they barely had any communication, but just something about them. They're my babies. I just want them to be together. And I'm hoping that in the sequel, we get more of them together because we barely got anything. And that upsets me. I didn't really connect with Art at all. I didn't like him. I found him to be very annoying and self-centered and he just bothered me 
to no end so I was not upset when he randomly disappeared in the middle of the story. I also loved how it was very casually mentioned that Mr. Barry, who is the lawyer, had a husband. It was glossed over like it was nothing and in a society like the one in this book that was so refreshing to read. It was like it was no big deal and that makes me so happy. So like 20 million gold stars to you Celia Hearn. I love you. I also really enjoyed the family dynamics in this book. Celestine and her parents were so much fun to read about. I loved how supportive they were of Celestine through the whole thing even though technically they weren't allowed to aid a flaw which is basically they weren't allowed to stick up for her but her mom kind of did it silently in her own way which I absolutely loved that she was still willing to stick up for Celestine even though she could have been punished as well. And I absolutely loved Grandad. He was such a great character. I really really hoping that there's going to be more of him in the sequel. I think that the climax of the book was so well done. It had me flipping the pages needing to know what happened next. I hated the cliffhanger at the end. But we all know Jay hates cliffhangers anyway. I feel like I have so many unanswered questions and therefore I need the sequel ASAP. Like please let it come out sooner or let me get an advanced reader copy. I need it in my life so badly. As I said before I will leave all the links down below for the booktube tour host stuff. I will also leave links down below for the giveaway if you guys are interested in winning a copy of this book. I highly suggest entering. I loved it so so much. Alright guys, so that was my review of Flawed by Cecilia Hearn. I gave it 4 out of 5 stars on Goodreads. I highly recommend it. It was so much fun to read. And I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!